Good East Positioning Lesson, everybody. The name is Wufang, and welcome back to another episode of the Hunger Games Simulator Season 4. Last time, we did websites as suggested by a happy secret on YouTube. This time, we're doing the Hobbit characters, which is a suggestion from Grand Admiral Throne, which, fun fact, way back in Season 1, this is a... Lord of the Rings was his first suggestion, and now he's coming full circle back in Season 4 with its prequels, The Hobbit. We have Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit who is named after the series, and the prequel adventure to Lord of the Rings, Gandalf the Grey, very infamous for being one of the worst performing competitors to exist in Hunger Games history. Seriously, he was back in season one in our Lord of the Rings episode because I needed two characters, because I completely made him and Gandalf the White like separate characters. He lost, got into last place of season two, lost that dead last and got into the last of season three lost again but he didn't get dead last so that's why he's not going in losers of season three video but he found his way here <laughs> here this man is somehow the most competed this man somehow has competed the most and has died the most and we're all here for it and as you got smeagol which is Gollum. Someone who's been corrupted by the ring. Thorin Oakenshield. A badass last name, by the way. But it's a, he's a dwarf. Smog's a dragon. Azog is a... Look like a troll. I, orc. That would be, that's what he is. An orc. Sorry. Legolas and Toriel are elves. The Goblin King. It's literally in his name. Bard the Bowman is a bowman. Radagast the Brown is a wizard who's infamous for having shit on his head. And is an animal wizard. Bjorn can transform into a bear. And then Dwalin, Balin, Philly, Killy, Dori, Nori, Ori, On, Gloin, Biffer, Bofer, and Bomber are all dwarves. Yeah, it's kind of weird that we were... This list was halfway taken up by dwarves, but you know what? We gotta make it work. Anyway, uh, who am I gonna vote for? Well, normally I would say Gandalf the Grey because he's my favorite character here, but he has proven that he does jack shit in these competitions. Nevertheless, every horse has its day, so... All right, Gandalf, finally prove us all wrong or prove me right beyond a doubt. Last time you didn't get last. Last time you competed, you didn't get last. So I'm hoping the same for you here. And I'm also going to go with the other wizard, Radagast the Brown. I'm putting more money into Radagast, though. That'd be known. <clears throat> Tribute on the podiums of the horn sounds. Oin finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Bjorn runs away. Dwalin runs away. Nori receives a trident from inside the cornucopia. Bard grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Balin receives a trident. Dory runs away. Gandalf finds a backpack full of camping equipment. All right, very good. We, Your first prompt is in death. The Goblin King runs away. Azog grabs a sword. Bilbo Baggins takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Gollum runs into the cornucopia and hides. Lego last night is a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Gollum receives a trident from an unknown sponsor. Bomber runs away. Toriel, Philly, and Radagast were together to get as many supplies as possible. Buffer runs away. Ori runs away. Biffer runs away. Thorin grabs a shovel. Killy grabs a jar of fishing bait while Smog gets fishing gear. Day one. The Goblin King receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Bilbo Baggins searches stocks Lego loss. Ah, oh, man, I forgot to change it so that was just Bilbo and not Bilbo Baggins. Ah, well, I'll just say Bilbo and you know who I'm talking about. Radagast goes hunting. Thorin searches for firewood. Gloin, Toriel, Philly, and Bofer hunt for their tributes. Bjorn and Oin work together to drown Smog. Holy crap, Gandalf wasn't the first to die. Smog was. Damn, imagine being so bad Gandalf the Grey beats you. <laughs> I don't know, he can still prove himself. He's only got 22 other competitors. Dwalin and Nori hunt for the tributes. Biffer, Oin, Killy, Bomber, and Dory hunt for the tributes. Gandalf receives fresh food, Bari camouflages himself in the bushes, Azog discovers a cave, Gollum receives an explosive, and Balin collects fruit from a tree. Wolf Mutt to let loose in the arena. Azog survives, Thorin survives, Bomber survives, Gloin survives, Toriel survives, Gollum survives, Nori survives. Killy kicks Balin out of the lead. Killy kicks Balin out and leaves him out for the Wolf Mutts. Ori is crushed by a pack of Wolf Mutts. Bard knocks Bofur out and leaves him with a pack of Wolf Mutts. Bilbo survives, Dwalin is eaten. Legolas is crushed. As the Goblin King and Philly fight, a pack of wolf might show up and kills them both. Same thing with Radagast and Dory. And Oin pushes Gandalf into a pack of wolf mutts. And Bill Biffer knocks Bjorn out 
Uh, it leaves him for the wolf mice. Well, I lost this episode. Damn, I should have stuck with my gut and went with Bilbo. Instead, half the cast is gone. Half the cast is gone by day one. Wow, all right. We have Smog from District 3, Ballin from District 7, Ori from District 10, Bofor from District 12, Dwalin from District 7, Legolas from District 4, The Goblin King from District 5, Philly from District 8, Radagast from District 6, Dory from District 9, Gandalf from District 1, and Bjorn from District 6. District 6, 7 are com- District 6 and 7 are completely out, and we are down to the top 12 survivors. Man, I should have stuck with Bilbo and Radagast. At least then I'd have half my chances. Halfway there. Nori poisons Barge drinks, but he mistakes it for his own and dies, so Nori is dead. Oin attests to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Gollum is awoken by nightmares. Toriel spears Thorin in the abdomen. Bilbo Baggins receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Azog and Bomber run into each other and decide a truce for the night. Biffer looks at the night sky. Killy receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor, and Gloin goes to sleep. Day two, Killy scares Gollum off. Torio, Bilbo, and Gloin start fighting, but Bilbo runs away as Torio kills Gloin. All right, let's go, Bim. Let's go, Bilbo. If, I know I want to have a half win, but that's not happening. I made my bets at the beginning. Oin searches for a water source. Bard tends to Bomber's wounds. Biffer thinks about home. Azog goes hunting for other tributes. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Nori from District 9, Thorn from District 2, and Gloin from District 11. So I believe that means we're down to nine survivors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine survivors left standing. District six, seven, nine. Yeah, six, seven, and nine are completely out. Top nine survivors. Killy cries and starts to sleep. Only sees a fire but stays hidden. Gollum and Toriel talk about the tree still alive. Biffer dies from hypothermia. Azog thinks of home. Bomber is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth, and Bilbo severely slices the bard with the sword. Seven. The cornucopias replenish the food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from tributes families. B- Gollum decides not to go. Azog bashes Toriel's head in with a mace. Bilbo decides not to go. Killy bashes Bomber's head in with a mace, and Oin accidentally steps on the landmine. So, one, two, three. We're down to the top four. Bilbo camouflages himself in the bushes as Og overhears Killy and Gollum talking in the distance. A tsunami rolls in the arena. Bilbo survives. Azog defeats Killy but throws him in the water to make sure he di- dies. And Gollum survives. So top three. Yeah, six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Biffer from District 11. The Bard from District 5. Toriel from District 4. Bomber from District 12. Oin from District 10. And Killy from District 8. Yeah, top three survivors left standing. Districts 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 are completely out. Who is it going to be? The main character, Bilbo Baggins, the corrupted but somehow pacifist Smeagol slash Gollum, or Azog, the strongest orc you ever did see? Bilbo dies trying to escape the arena, and Azog strangles Gollum with a rope. Well, Azog is the winner. Zog the Hobbit. Let's, get a, let's go over the summary placements. Proceed. The placements. In 24th place, Smog. In 23rd, Balin. In 22nd, Ori. In 21st, Bofur. In 20th, Dwalin. In 19th, Legolas. In 18th, The Goblin King. In 17th, Philly. In 16th, Radagast the Brown. Yeah, wow. In 15th, Dory. In 14th place, with his best placement ever, Gandalf the Grey. Holy crap, this is a miracle. But let it be known, since he didn't get last place, he cannot appear in the losers of season 4 next season. (laughs) So, unless we find another excuse to bring him in, because he has been in every season so far, if we find another video where he happens to be a qualifying candidate... By all means, I think it would be funny to bring back what is, unironically, the worst contender ever. In 13th place, one kill, Bjorn. In 12th place, Nori. In 11th place, Thorin, Oakenshield. In 10th place, Gloin. In 9th place, with one kill, Biffer. In 8th place, with one kill, Bard the Bowman. In 7th place, with two kills, Toriel. In 6th place, Bomber. 
In fifth place at two kills, Oin. In fourth place at two kills, Killy, the highest ranking dwarf. And third place at one kill, Bilbo Baggins. I was about to say that I think this is the highest a main protagonist has ever scored. But then I remembered that way back in season one, we did the One Piece episode where Luffy straight up won. In second place, Smeagol, also known as Gollum. And the winner is Azog with three kills. So there you have it. That's how this works. Uh, the summary, this is a short one. <laughs> District placements in 12th, 7. In 11th, 6. In 10th, 9. In 9th, 11. In 8th, 5. In 7th, 4. In 6th, 12. In 5th, 10. In 4th, 8. In 3rd, 1. In 2nd, 2. In 1st, 3. There you have it, folks. That's going to conclude the Hunger Games Simulator for The Hobbit. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, leave your franchise suggestions in the comments below of this video. And in the next episode, we are we have two more episodes that are predetermined until we get back to the usual undetermined format of these episodes. And so next episode, we are doing My Singing Monsters. I don't know when that's going to be out because I don't have promises to people. But uh, hey, it'll eventually be there. Well, actually, I think we got one more episode after The Losers, which is going to be the episode after next. But yeah, I'm going to bid you all a good Western Eagle Center, everybody. See you all next time.